hello everybody thank you so much for joining in today it's a pleasure to meet you guys welcome to a webinar that bridges the gap between knowledge and marketing excellence today we are thrilled to present the key for branding and performance marketing campaigns through Quora ads. Today's webinar is designed to equip you with knowledge and tools to unlock the full potential of Quora ads. I am Pooja and my co-host for today's webinar is Priyal. So are you ready to dive in? Let us begin by taking a look at today's agenda. We'll begin with Quora ads, a strategic overview. Over here, we'll discuss how Quora audiences are using the platform and how advertisers should approach the channel. Further, we'll also discuss how do you reach the high intent audience in Southeast Asia and globally. We also have a few audience insights that we'll discuss. We will further explore a range of ad formats that can be utilized to your advantage along with relevant metrics and examples. Targeting and audience engagement. Here, we'll, we'll discuss the diverse options which are available on Quora Ads platform and how can you engage with your audiences. Further, we'll also cover up in terms of how do you integrate Quora Ads into your marketing mix. And lastly, we'll cover the range of analytics, performance tracking options and available integrations. Now here's a slide on the audience landscape. So if you look at the map, this is depicting the distribution of Quora's traffic. Today, we have over 400 million monthly unique visitors globally. United States contributes to about 140 million of the traffic, followed by India, which is about 100 million. Then we have Southeast Asia that contributes to about 29 million of the traffic. Australia and New Zealand contributes to about 12 million. Canada is about 15 million and UK Europe about 35 million. Now, let us also look at a breakup for Southeast Asia market. Today, Indian Asia contributes to about eight and a half million of the audiences. Philippines, 6.7 million. Malaysia traffic that we observe is about 4 million and Singapore is about 3.8 million. We also observe traffic from Taiwan, Hong Kong, South Korea, Vietnam, and Thailand. This ranges anywhere between 1 to 1.5 million of our monthly unique visitors. So that was about the audience landscape on Quora and how you can globally or region specific, you know, look at your targeting campaigns. Now, let us discuss Quora's strategic overview and unique preposition. Quora, hall, Quora holds a unique position in the digital landscape. You know, it is a platform where we discuss questions, where questions are asked, answered, and discussed across a wide variety of range of topics. Now, a community consists of knowledge seekers and experts who actively engage with this content and conduct their own research. This means that when a user interacts with ads on Quora ads on Quora, they often in, are in a very receptive mindset, actively seeking information or solutions related to the products or services they are interested in. In fact, one of the reasons why Quora stands out is a niche specific topics that you can target. For example, let's consider a case of business to business or business and software as a larger topic. Now, over here, Quora also helps you target topics like startups, you know, IT developers, programmers, founders, co-founders, cloud services, etc. Now, this targeted approach enables you to shape your own narrative and positioning, giving you the opportunity to build credibility and establish your brand authority. By leveraging Quora ads, you can tap into moments when users are actively seeking knowledge and solutions, thus presenting your brand as a reliable source of information. Now, if you look at the overall topics on Quora, right? Like every user who comes to the platform 
follows various topics based on their interest. Now, these topics may be ranging from technology to cryptocurrency, small business advice to visiting and travel, education to entertainment, business strategy to cars and automobiles. If we deep dive into some of these popular topics, you know, you will see a bunch of related topics that these users are frequently visiting. For example, let us consider health. Now there are popular topics within health that normally follow like nutrition and healthy recipes, fitness and workout regimes to mental health. Similarly, if you consider artificial intelligence as one of the popular topics, you'll also see people engaging with topics around machine learning, deep learning, computer science, etc. <clears throat> and these are just a few examples that I'm quoting. Quora today has over 300,000 topics available on the platform. So just a little bit of research can actually tell you what kind of topics you can target to reach the right audience for your product. Now, let us understand the high intent audience in Southeast Asia and globally through a couple of vertical insights. The first vertical that we'll talk about today is finance. Now, finance is a strong engaging topic on Quora. You'll see there's a constant engagement on the topic month on month. We see a rise in the number of views of questions around trading, around insurance, etc. Overall, this is one of the most popular and steady verticals that we have. We see topics around personal savings to investments, insurance, etc., which are available for finance. The next vertical we'll discuss is business and software. Our audience shows a consistent interest related to business and software throughout the year. As you can see from the graph, there is a healthy growth in views on these topics with a significant spike in question views at the start of the year. Now this trend typically matches when companies are you know planning their budgets at the beginning of the year when they are researching for alternative solutions or vendors or tools. For example, we see 78% rise in the views of questions about computer security. Now this engagement clearly indicates a strong intent to seek knowledge and find solutions, making the right moment to present your brand. The next vertical that we'll talk about is travel. Now, often when users are planning their own holidays, they do a research around, you know, the itineraries, places to visit, experiences of the, you know, area, food to eat, etc. People have been constantly researching and engaging with the with topics around you know hotels to visiting and travel similarly the next vertical is education now views on conversations about education are evergreen and often surge in october as the academic year begins and then again in q1 we see 87 percent more question views about e-learning in january Another spike that we observe is the increase of queries about graduate school admissions in Q1. The last vertical that we'll talk about today is e-commerce. Conversations about e-commerce and online shopping are evergreen and they often peak around Q4, which is the time of the year when you see major holiday sales. People read most content around online shopping in November and December. Topics around Black Friday sale to year-end discounts. Users are actively comparing online stores, looking for gifting ideas or gathering product reviews. Quora gives them a chance to gather insights from these other users and product experts. Quora may be an interesting channel to explore during these busy months. Now, moving on, we'll discuss the Quora ad formats and best practices. And for this, I will hand it over to my co-host for today, Priyal.
Thank you, Pooja. It's really nice to see all of you here today. We would now like to move on to the second part of our webinar. We'll start by focusing on which ad formats can be used to position yourself on Quora. So let's get started. Quora offers a variety of ad formats, including some standard formats like text ads, image ads, but we also have a unique and native format to Quora, which is called Promoted Answers. Lastly, we introduced a new format last year called Video Ads to blend into the video ecosystem overall. And today, we want to focus on video ads and promoted answers as we believe that we are a great mix for your marketing portfolio. So let's get started by learning more about video ads. A question that I get asked quite often is how do I create engaging video content for a text based platform like Quora? To answer that, I want to share some tips that have worked well for other advertisers. Serious exam over here promoted a very limited time offer, but with a clear and concise message. They kept their video short and incorporated a clear branding by keeping their logo visible in the entire video. However, AMD on the other hand focused on creating a visually compelling ad. They optimized it for smaller screens like mobiles and tablets to be able to capture a broader audience. But they can also achieve this by captioning that content. They can do this to attract users who are watching the videos on mute while scrolling on Quora. Lastly, Zoho Creator over here wanted to drive a value proposition of creating at your fingertips to all programmers and developers. This video opens with a hook and tells a compelling story about their product, making it a great fit for Quora. Moving on, let's talk about our native and unique ad format, Promoted Answers. Before we get into what Promoted Answers can do and how you can get started, we want to talk about the overall scope of this ad format. Promoted Answers enable you to share compelling and informative content that can give you maximum visibility and exposure. It allows businesses to capture the attention of a user, thereby maximizing the impact of your advertising effort. Promoted Answers also provide an opportunity to position yourself as thought leaders or industry experts. You can do so by adding valuable insights, information, etc. within your answers. This will help you establish trust and credibility with the audience on Quora. Another interesting thing that you can opt for is you can add multiple links within a promoted answer that will allow you to have different call to actions. It'll also lead to different types of landing pages, thereby increasing your overall impact. Lastly, this format will give you complete freedom on how you want to create your narrative and position yourself on Quora. Now you would be wondering, how do I get started by writing answers on Quora? And we want to offer some easy solutions to do so, which is why one of the solutions that we have is Po. This is our AI chatbot platform that can give you access to bots like ChatGPT4 and many others. You can start by repurposing your existing content like blogs and articles Scope to create it into Quora answers. Since Po gives you access to different types of bots, you would be wondering how can you use it to your advantage. Starting with repurposing your blogs, you can not only enter the text of the blog but the URL as well, and ask Po to summarize it into different short word answers. Additionally, if you don't clear your conversation history with Po, it'll remember the context of your conversation and give you feedback in real time on how to refine the answer. Let's say you also want to ensure that your promoted answers have a different brand voice across all answers. You can do so by creating your own bot without any kind of coding required on Quora and customize it to answer questions the way you want it. And finally, you can ask Po to help you create different versions of your answer so that you can A-B test with what's working well on Quora. Being the native ad format on Quora, promoted answers tend to have high CDRs, and these tips that we've shared can help you get started with it. We're now going to move forward to the targeting criteria and audience engagement. Before we understand about what targeting criteria do we have, let's take a look at this high intent audience that we have available. What is this high intent audience doing on Quora? We've observed 79% of Quora users browsed or shopped for products in the last week, making Quora a more receptive audience for brands to target. 
we've also seen a very similar intent and trend across videos. The engagement in video content continues to rise throughout the year, as you can see in the graph, and it peaks around the summer time and continues to pick up. This essentially means that the year end is a great time for you to incorporate branding and product review videos to engage with our premium audience. So now let's take a look at all of our targeting options available. We segment our targeting into four broad categories, contextual, behavioral, audience, and broad. Starting with contextual targeting here, it'll help you reach an audience about a particular topic or a question in that moment. You can position your ads to new readers that could be coming in through third party sources like search engines as well. This particular ad format can help this particular targeting can help you target users who are looking for an exact solution in a given point of time. Moving on to behavioral targeting, this, as the name suggests, taps into a consistent interest or pattern that a user has shown on Quora over a period of time. So let's say if they've been engaging with a particular type of interest or keyword in a shorter duration, then you can target them with higher value information and capture this audience. Moving on to audience targeting, this allows you to target our existing databases or retarget your website traffic by creating a lookalike audience as well. And lastly, broad targeting can be used to maximize your awareness. Let's say if you have a new product launch coming in, or you want to promote a webinar or anything that has a mass appeal, then this would be a good option to go for. It'll help you target and position your ads across all types of conversations on Quora. To understand a little bit more about how a user behaves differently on Quora in the form of contextual and behavioral, I've taken an example over here. Let's say your company is promoting a data analytics course. The decision maker or the buyer over here could be a graduate student in some of these fields or could be a junior data analyst. So let's say here the examples of questions that would fall under contextual targeting would be questions that contain the word data analytics to start with. So what are the best data analytics courses? What are the institutes providing the best placement opportunity or what simply is the difference between data analytics and data scientists? However, a behavior of the same user could also be that they could be reading about programming blogs. They could be reading about how to upskill themselves in an existing job or how if they want to change a job, what kind of available options are there in different industries. So now how do we start integrating Quora ads into your marketing strategy? Let's see what other brands are doing on Quora. Before that, we also want to help you understand how Quora sees itself and positions itself. Quora is not just a social or a search platform. However, we're a hybrid of the two. This is a place where users are not just passively scrolling, but actively learning or researching. They're looking for feedback or experiences from other users to help with their decision making. This is why we've seen Quora can help you reach high value audiences who are looking at options like where they researching for what products to buy and we've seen 80 percent of our users doing so particularly in this era of fast information the engagement on our organic and user generated content has been increasing throughout the year as soon as the content is posted the upwards on the 24 hours within the content posting time has been increasing consistently the reason for this is the element of a personal experience or a feedback or an information from an industry expert will always be valuable and more personal and can contribute to a user's decision making factor. You can take advantage of this peak in the user generated content during the year end and position your brand on Quora to help you understand this particular better. I want to start by sharing an example. Amazon Global Selling over here they utilize promoted answers to engage Quora users, and we can draw inspiration from their approach. They were targeting small businesses that wanted to grow by doing export. Since a lot of people might not have been aware that Amazon can offer such solutions, they started by answering questions around export in a general category. They did so by creating a business profile on Quora and established credibility. To maximize their impact, they targeted relevant countries and managed to educate their audience. 
they position themselves as thought leaders in this field. Another example that we want to take here is of Sony. Sony wanted to drive buzz and increase the traffic on their website for the new camera launch that they were going for. To do so, they used a combination of image ads with a topic and interest targeting and achieved a CTR greater than 0.8%. This also resulted in a very healthy traffic on their website and thereby resulted in a good volume for their conversions. Lastly, we want to cover the most important section, the analytics and performance tracking. This is what mostly everybody is looking for. So let's get started by understanding what is the dashboard offering you. Quora gives you an access to a transparent dashboard with a standard pixel and lead gen data, depending on the type of campaign you're running. Our pixel will give you options of standard events as well as custom events. However, if you're looking to deep dive further into your reporting and data, we also offer integrations with partners like Improvado, Google Tag Manager, and Funnel. If you're running a mobile measurement on an app install campaign, then we have partners like Apps Flyer and Adjust. And we also accept tags from IAS and Double Verify for brand safety purposes. Lastly, if you're a part of our managed services, you can benefit by getting access to our beta programs and features. At a time when Cora is looking to expand its product offering, we can give you early access to these features to test out and be ahead of your competition. You'll also receive campaign building and reporting support from us, as well as information about product launches that can help you plan your strategy in advance on Quora. We would also be happy to help you with ad approvals, ad approvals and ad copy consultations to overall reduce your ad review time. Education and training is something that we offer on demand to help train your team and scale their expertise on Quora's ad platform. Lastly, we can also share category insights that go above and beyond what we've shared today. Coming to an end of our webinar, we wanted to share a quick overview of our APAC and SEA team. We hope you found our session today insightful and we will be sure to help you out. We would now like to invite all brands present here today for a consultation with us on Quora and we look forward to working with you all. Thank you.